I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question based on trigonometric inverse functions. We need to find exact value of sine inverse minus square root 2 over 2 minus cos inverse minus square root 2 over 2. Right? So that's the question for us. Let us see how to solve such a question. Now before starting, uh, let's try to understand the domain of these inverse functions, right? So let me draw them separately. As far as the sine inverse theta is concerned, the domain for the function is in the quadrants 1 and 4, right? So we are talking about minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. As far as the cos inverse is concerned, what are we talking about? We are talking about the domain which is right there, which is between 0 to pi, right? So that is important to understand. So when I say sine inverse of, let's write down, when I say sine inverse of minus square root 2 over 2, so, so what we are trying to figure out here is that in which position is, is that arm, where are we located, right? So, sine, as far as you know, is actually positive. Uh, we know the rule, right? So, all are positive here, sine, tan, and cos. So, the negative means we are talking about being in quadrant 4, correct? And for what value do we have this negative value? So, so basically we could say this is equal to theta or you can say minus square root 2 over 2 is sine theta. Perfect. So when is sine theta equals to minus 2 square root 2? That is what you need to figure out. That is for theta equals to minus pi by 4, right? So you could be in quadrant 4 you, to get this answer since sine inverse is only valid from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So theta is equal to minus pi by 4. Is that clear? So that is the sine inverse part. Now let's do the same for cos inverse. So let's say what is cos inverse minus square root 2 over 2. Let's say this angle is phi. In that case, minus 2 square root 2 will be cos phi. We know cos is having this kind of a domain. So, so this function, we are looking for something in quadrant 2. And this angle, which is going to give us negative square root 2 over 2 value, is when phi is equal to minus 3 pi by 4, right? This is 3 pi by 4. So we have minus 3, I'm sorry, it is uh, plus 3 pi by 4. When cos is negative, that is the value of phi. Correct? So what we have got to this stage is that we know what is sine inverse and what is cos inverse. Now we can substitute these values and find our answer. That's the whole idea. So now we can write down that sine inverse of minus square root 2 over 2 minus cos inverse of minus square root 2 over 2 is basically equal to sine inverse is minus pi by 4. So this is minus pi by 4. Negative cos inverse is plus 3 pi by 4. 3 pi by 4. Correct? Okay? Now, when you combine these two, you get minus 4 pi by 4, which is equal to minus pi. So, the exact value for this is minus pi. Is that clear? So, that is how you can actually solve this particular expression. Get the exact value for this particular expression. The important thing which you have to remember is when is the inverse of trigonometric function valid? Keeping that in mind helps you to get the correct answer. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and 
All the best.